Okay, let's talk about something basic, and that's what the heck is a radian? When I was in engineering school a long time ago, back before the dinosaurs crawled out of the oceans, um, it was explained to me that a radian was unitless. Well, how could that be, I thought. Um, it's an angle. Degrees are a unit. We have to track degrees through equations, and those cancel like other uh, units do. But radians somehow don't. Um, perhaps somebody explained it to me and I wasn't listening, or I, I something. Somehow I don't remember. Well, here's an explanation. Now, I, uh, to give credit where it's properly due, this explanation was given to me by Professor Tom Kirk in the MET department at Purdue University, and I'm passing it on to you now. Okay, a radian, the explanation for radian starts with the expression for arc length. Let's say we have a real small angle here, angle alpha, and this is part of a larger, taken out of part of a larger circle with radius r. Okay, and that's radius r as well, right there. Okay. So far, so good. Just a slice out of a circle. The, the distance of that arc right there, I'll call s. That's our arc length. Right. Most of us learned early on that the arc length is defined that way, where r is a distance and alpha is some angle. So far, so good. Let's make that arc length or that uh, angle bigger. What if we have an arc that's larger and it's also part of a circle? Same properties as before, same, same definitions as before. And we'll write the same equation. S equals R times alpha. Okay, this kid comes out of a uh, basic calculus. If you want to uh, develop this expression, you can calculate arc, arc length. Um, it's easy to do in uh, polar coordinates. You can also do it in uh, Cartesian coordinates if you like. Let's let's write out alpha another way. There you go. Expression for alpha is s over r. Well, what if s equals r? Then alpha equals one. Not only does it equal one. One, it's, it's also unitless because this could be in perhaps meters and meters or inches or inches or megaparsecs and megaparsecs. It doesn't matter. This is a distance over a distance. Distance over a distance is like a strain. It cancels out. When that's true, that's one radian. If you do some basic uh, trigonometry, you can decide that one radian is approximately, it was at 57.3 degrees, I think. There you go. That's why a radian is an angle, but doesn't have units. It does have units, really. It's distance over a distance. It's a ratio of two lengths, just like strain.